Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are, thank you so much for coming back to my corner of the internet. Today we're going to be playing with psychedelic circuits again. Not only the palette, probably some of the liquid shadows as well as potentially some of the liquid lipsticks. In case you haven't seen it, I have reviewed the full collection. I'll link the video right here if you guys want to check it out. I also attempted to create a look that resembled a nude or neutral look and I'll leave that one linked as well down below in the description if you want to check that one out. So this is round three for this collection and palette. So let's dive right in and see if we can create something different. As I said in my review, there are a million different looks that can be created with this palette. Just the realm of possibilities is endless. So hopefully we're going to jump into some of those possibilities today. I did re-watch my previous two videos just to see what shades I use so I can attempt to stay away from them. That way we can continue to create something new and different. I'm going to go ahead and pop off camera, prime my eyes, and we'll get started. You guys, when I say I have no clue what we're doing today, I mean it. This is literally just going to be throwing some colors, see if they work, and see if it creates a look. Let me actually zoom you guys in first, then we'll go in with our first shade. I'm going to start with Problem Child. Ooh, she's fiery. Next, I'm going to take some Sideshow Blush, and let's see how that'll work packed against the center. Those two shades work really well together. One is Cheetos, one is Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Now we get to see the potential spot where everything might go wrong. We're going to grab some Joshua tree and she is kickback city look out for the fallout we're gonna pack this all over the outer edge and draw out the wing shape with it and see if it'll blend with the red shade oh no I used red and green crap I'm gonna do everything in my power to make this not a Christmas look oh no what have I done what have I done surprisingly those melted together pretty well it looks like there's a little bit of blue in the green so it almost adds a little bit of a purple tone on top of the red but the crease is definitely gonna be cut so I think we'll be able to avoid any problems with that. I'm kind of sort of not really loving this color that it made, the purpley color, but I've still got to deepen it, so I'm hoping everything is going to kind of come together. But before I deepen, I'm going to add some lightness to the top part of the look. And for that, we're going to use Altered State. And that's just going to be the lightning shade literally everywhere. Luckily, there's orange in the front and green in the back, and yellow meets both sides of that in the color wheel, so we're going to be fine. Now we're looking like a psychedelic circus. Yellow changes everything. This is like a jigsaw puzzle of eyeshadow colors. I just hope that all of these shades will actually blend with this yellow because there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. Strangely enough, now that I've added the yellow, I kind of don't mind the purple that's there. It's sort of, I don't know, making it more like tie-dye-y, rainbow-y in my mind. Whatever though, I mean this look, like I said, it's just forming as it goes, okay? Not gonna lie, this looks kind of growing on me. Like, I really didn't like it whenever I put that green on, but now that the yellow's added, I don't know, there's just something about it coming together a little bit that's making it just really fun. But now I've got to deepen things up a little bit, especially in this inner corner. I feel like we have a block of orange and then multicolor everywhere else. I'm gonna use Transcendence now, and I'm just gonna start deepening all the way through. So from inner corner all the way to the outer corner. And that's probably gonna follow that outer wing shape just so it can kind of continue. I don't know how the purple and green are gonna work together, but you know, like I said, we're here to figure it out together. With this shade too, I've gotta remember that I'm gonna do a cut crease. So I need this shade to be exactly past my crease area. That way I'll be able to cut it out and have the purple still show up. And just like that, I have a guide to follow. Love that for me. That is already so much better now that that orange block is gone and some other color is breaking up a little bit. Interesting. The mix of the green and the red made pretty much this shade. Now that I'm putting that shade on top of it, it looks almost identical. Considering the fact that I've got probably, what, one, two, three, four, four shades worth of eyeshadow that have fallen into my crease and this purple is still showing up, that says a lot about the formula of this eyeshadow. Just the fact it's not mixing and turning into a muddy mess, that's pretty impressive by itself. Purple is on, now let's see if I can make this look a little better by cutting the crease with some Vaseline and my Sigma E62 brush. Crease is finally cut and I'm sort of cheating. I'm using the Elf Line and Define stickers so that I don't have to pay attention to the wing shape. The reason why though is because I'm gonna go in with two liquid shadows. One is gonna be the base of everything. Then I'm gonna make a wing with the pink shade. But first I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise Bada Black base. By the way, I used the P. Louise Rumor 02 base for my initial base, just so you know. Now using the Elf Concealer brush, I'm gonna cut the crease with the black base. Honestly, I could leave this just like this and be completely happy. Tight line 
in that upper water line, fill in the lower lash line with some black, smoke it out with a little bit of red. This would be fantastic. But instead, we're gonna use the Liquid Star Shadow in Third Eye Open. I thought the green would just be a nice touch to pair with the green on the outer edge. I don't know. We're figuring it out as we go along. And I'm just gonna start painting this right on top of the black. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad I put the black down first. And for now, I'm not gonna worry about the lower section since that's where I'm gonna put the wing. I might even have to go back in with some Vaseline just to clean up the area, but I'm gonna try not to, see if I can do it in one step instead of two. Now I'm just gonna take a flat pointed brush and see if I can't spread that shade out. Uh, scratch that. That is not gonna work, I can tell already. So I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand, then onto the brush and clean up the edge. Okay, I don't think that's half bad. Now what I've noticed with his liquid shadow especially if you've got hooded lids, is you really need to wait for them to dry completely before you move on. If you don't, you end up getting patchiness and there are parts where it starts flaking off because it transfers. So just know that, let it dry completely before you move on. Even before you let go of the stretching of your lid, let it dry completely. Okay, you guys, with the green on, I'm beginning to question using this shade as the wing. I'm kind of now wanting to do this one. I feel like that's just perfect to tie in this whole section with the rest of the look so I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do I know this is a little wasteful and I hate to do it but I am going to clean off the wing part again and put down some base I just want it to be really really clean and I want to avoid a whole bunch of texture and since this is a liquid lipstick especially a metallic liquid lipstick I want it to be as thin of a layer as possible I think I finally found the spot where I'm gonna have the wing I'm pretty sure this is where it's gonna lay the only downside to this is since I do have have hooded lids. Once I relax my forehead, I'm just gonna have a tiny little orange streak on the outside. I'm curious to see how that's gonna work in the end. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, then we'll see. Liner time! Got the green cleaned up, and now I'm ready for the wing. And I can tell you right now, this green is going to transfer all over this wing. Even just me cleaning the wing off, then relaxing my forehead, and then going back to it, I would get transfer from the flakes of the green onto the lid. That being said, it lets me know that the liquid liquid formula. It's not great for hooded lids unless you're going to put it on the crease and the lid. Just know that in advance. Luckily that wasn't a problem last time because I had the blue everywhere so I didn't have to experience any of the transfer because there was nothing to transfer. At this point what I'm hoping for is that this liquid lipstick in the shade Mind Bender is going to dry down just like all of his other velour liquid lipsticks with a super matte non-transferable finish and perhaps that will affect the longevity of the green. Oh, she's beautiful. She's so beautiful. That is badass. Even just that one streak. I kind of don't want to fill in the rest of the lid, but I have to. By the way, for those of you that don't know, a lot of liquid lipsticks are not eye safe. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick Formula is eye safe. However, that being said, I will say if you've used a lipstick and the applicator on your lips, you don't want to use that lipstick on your eye anymore. If it has touched your lips, then gone back in the container. It is no longer sanitary and putting that on your eyes not recommended. Oh, I have transfer already. No. Oh, well, I'll just have to wait and cover it up with green again. Now we just wait and hope for flawless drying. Okay, you know what? I am totally freaking obsessed with this look. I'm so afraid though to relax my forehead. I know the moment I do, it's gonna transfer and I'm gonna get green all over the orange, but I'm gonna keep it like this for as long as I can, pretty much until I can put my foundation on. Once I put my foundation on, I can't do this on my forehead anymore because then I'll have a bunch of lines in the forehead. But for now, I'm enjoying it so much. It's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, sometimes I really wish I didn't have hooded lids. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and do all of my face makeup. Once I come back, we will see what it looks like. We'll see how bad it transferred, if it did. Worst case, I can just fix it up a little bit. I'm sure the most I'll have to do is probably put some orange back over the orange to cover up whatever green falls out on it, but I shouldn't have a problem with the orange transferring to the green. Usually these liquid lipsticks are bomb for longevity. We'll find out together and I'll see you guys in just a second. You guys, the look is completely done, but let's zoom in and see the transfer. Yeah, that did not go well. It did not go well at all. Keep in mind, whenever I'm doing my face makeup, I'm like this, 
you know? So it's not like I'm super crazy, like squeezing my eyes together or anything, but that just goes to show these are not transfer proof. They are a little transfer resistant. I mean, that's not the worst transfer I've ever seen in my life, but it is definitely not the best. So before I can finish everything off completely, I'm gonna touch this up, see if I can't fix it just a little bit, then we'll close the video out. I fixed everything now, and luckily I took all the selfies I needed, so the cleanliness of the cut crease and the wing are captured. And really quick, before it has a chance to do it again, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let you check out the look and see what you think. So, after transferring and fixing, what are your final thoughts? Obviously, the liquid shadow and the metallic liquid lipstick just don't really work together for the transfer, and I don't really know about this green lip either. I, I thought the green would go with this green, but they're two different greens, and I just don't know. But the look is done, and that's all I care about. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. You guys know that I'm always hanging out down there with you in the comments, just chilling, just talking, so let's talk. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you did. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My my username is the same for everything, it's just Christopher JMUA. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!